Hi, Marco Di Stefano here. I'm doing this video to show you my new PC, which I just built, and uh, to show you also the first test, which I've done based on a benchmark on uh, my with my orchestral template. Let's look at the specification. For the CPU, I have this uh, i9 7040X, uh, which has 14 cores and 28 threads, reaching up to 4.3 GHz for with the turbo. Uh, then I have this motherboard from ASRock, which is very good if you want to do also overclocking. And for the RAM, I have this one, 128 GB from G-Skill at 3200 MHz. So in the end, I decided to have one single machine. And it was very important for me to have a build uh, which is capable to load a lot of virtual instruments, so 128 of GB RAM w will be enough and with a processor which be capable to uh, play as much as possible instruments at the same time. And I think that this uh, one makes it very well. And so what I did for my benchmark is that I actually loaded all the instruments which I have on my template. So you can see from the woodwinds, from the brass and from the strings. So this is something like loading about 10 completely 10 Spitfire libraries where actu actually each instrument has been loaded with three microphones and can reach up to 400 voices. And uh, since actually I'm purging everything, I'm already using almo almost 60 gigabyte of RAM. Uh, actually in Cubase I have uh, one track for each instrument which is playing one single note. Uh, with, as you can see, with automation on the expression, modulation and uh, the vibrato. And this is playing like one long note, then some staccato notes, and again long staccato. And as you can see also for the staccato, I, uh, I have different velocity and for the long, I'm using always different articulations. So this means that actually I'm loading quite some data in memory. And uh, of course, there are a lot of voices. If you can imagine that each of these tracks might reach up to 400 voices and that there are actually 100 instruments loaded here. So let's start first with a buff buffer size of 512 and let's put play and see how does it go uh, with the CPU. So I, as you can see, this is a C minor chord and the, the result was great. Actually, there is no uh, pops. There is uh, a perfect playback. Now let's try to put half at 256 and let's see what happens. So you have seen that the CPU has a peak about 65%, but still it's great in there is no pop and clicks and everything was perfect. Let's now try 128. All right. And so as you can see, 128. I have to stop here, so 128 is not manageable. There are too many, too much voices. And uh, I must admit also that when I tried this without uh, the recording of the screen, I could see really the CPU going up to 90%. Also, uh, so I think that OBS here is taking some part of the CPU. Then also uh, just to show that there is also an ozone uh, instance which is loaded here into the template. Let's see. How does it look like with the mixer? All right. 
right then. I think we can say that this CPU is incredible. This build works very great. So here we are listening to 100 instruments from Spitfire Audio, each loaded with three microphones and reaching up to 400 voices, polyphonic voices. So the result here is amazing. It's much more than you will ever want to do. And uh, all this also with some reverb applied to all the, uh, all the different uh, tracks and with also one instance of Ozone in the end for the mastering. And uh, even not to say that here I'm not overclocking at all the CPU, I didn't try even yet to make overclocking. So imagine if I just overclock everything up to 4.1 GHz, which I've seen is uh, very easy and feasible to do. So I hope that this video might be helpful for those of you like me a few months ago that are still wondering what's the best configuration to have a one single machine. Uh, don't hesitate to leave me your comments if you have uh, any other question and uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.